MustangMedic.com. We show you everything from point A to point B, day one to day soul. So enjoy and thanks for watching. We work on, buy, sell, restore, and most of all, love your Mustang. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. The 1971 Mustang Fastback Restoration Project. And here's my intro for the 71. I had this on uh, yesterday and lost it, so I had to do a voiceover over just a, a, a standard view of the car. Anyway, I don't want to bother you guys with editing problems. Um, the parts are getting delivered right now to put together the tie rods, uh, both tie rod ends, outers, and one more inner, which is what we need. Uh, the parts are all dry from painting them uh, yesterday that tie the tie rods together for adjusting for the front end, front end alignment. And we're going to get those all back on, and we plan next week to get a front end alignment done, and I'm just going to drive her all over the place. I have to just take her to car shows, whoever will let me, without a paint job. We're going to uh, start working on uh, body work on her, and it's getting to that point. And we're probably going to paint her just like a dark gray primer first. And then we're going to go for that candy apple red. Um, I have not listed her on eBay yet. I guess I've just been kind of resisting it a little bit. But I'm going to. I'm going to put it up there. So um, just haven't gotten to it because of the busyness of the days. So next you'll see um, tie rod ends going on on the 71 Mustang Fastback Project. All right, so we got a little cold water from Star. What that means when you get cold water from Star? It means I just spent more money. <laughs> we got the parts for um, the uh, tie rod ends on the, on the 71. So I'm going to put them back together, get them on the car. Carlos is focusing on the 64, getting her all, all uh, together. And we will reconvene. We also got the rear seals for the 72. Planning on putting them on today as long as, long as time constraints don't uh, run out. And um, there's a 71 video, so I'm going to stick to the 71 video. I can't, the, the, the phone is so big now that if I don't look towards the lens and I look over here, it looks like I'm like, hey, how you doing? What's going on? So i got to keep remembering. Look into your eyes. All right, so there's the uniforms, got them hanging up, and let's go get the uh, parts we need for the uh, okay. tie rods. There it is, all painted up, ready to go, all pretty. Of course, I'm happy. And uh, Carlos is uh, doing about 90 pounds per uh, lug nut on the 64 and a half right now, getting all the rims tightened up and I am working on the 71. So you guys said uh, never enough detail. I don't know about that. I can bore you guys with detail, trust me. <laughs> All right, putting them on now. All right, happiness of Mustang Medic is new rubber and new parts, so this is making me happy. So I've got both tie rod ends, inner and outer for the 71. I'm pretty sure I lost one of these somewhere. I'm gonna find it somewhere in the shop. But there, they come with their own bolts, so there they are right there. And there is the inner tie rod, right and left, basically the same exact part. And there's the outer tie rods right there. There's the old, and here with the new. So there we go. All right, so what Carlos is doing is he's holding the tape measure at the end, right at the dead center spot of this tire on the other side. And I'm measuring it. And what, what was the measurement we had last time, Carlos? Do you remember? No, I never <laughs> I got 60. I got 60. And 7 sixteenths. Let's measure the other side. Now we're going to measure the other side. All right, so now we're measuring the back of the tire. He's right on that center spot with the metal tab, and I'm measuring 58. I'm measuring 58. Me. There's 58. So six. So this is much shorter. So I need to bring it in. 
you're not you're not sure what I'm talking about, are you, Carlos? Thank you. So this was sixty. This was sixty and a half. This was fifty-eight. So I got to bring the, the tires in more in the front because we want the measurement to be equal. All right, here we go. So you can see it. It's out. This one's almost straight. This one's really out. So I got to get them close to straight. Here we go. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm I'm rotating them so they go out. So if the tires are going out from the back, they're going to go in in the front. So now I'm opening them up and I'm going to check them. I'd like to get the wheel straight. I'm not really going to worry about that. The front end alignment guy is going to do it and make the wheel tires straight. Right now, I just want to get these tires so they're tracking straight so I can drive it around and get it to the place to get the, the, the professional front end alignment done. This is just all this. This is not doing the canter of the tires. That's what they do at the alignment places with a computer. This is just simply the, 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 the toe of the tire. So it's not going out, it's not going in. All right, let's do another measurement, Carl. Mustangmedic.com. Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. Mustangmedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. Mustangmedic.com.